Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 13 of Matthew chapter 16. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, He was asking His disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say, John the Baptist, and others, Elijah, but still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. I also say to you that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overpower it. Today, the word church is often used differently than the way Scripture defines it. We tend to think of a building with a steeple, a morning or evening service, or even a potluck get-together. In the Bible, however, church means a body of believers under the authority of their leader, Jesus Christ. And according to God's Word, the church has three purposes. Worship of the Lord, ministry to believers, and outreach to an unbelieving world. When those of us who are believers exalt the living God and glorify His name, we show our Heavenly Father that we love Him. Psalm 100 verses 2 through 4 encourages us to come before Him with joyful singing and to enter His gates with thanksgiving and praise. Christians should be both personally and corporately devoted to God. Secondly, teaching and encouraging brothers and sisters produces spiritual fruit in them. So that thirdly, They can then spread the good news in their own sphere of influence, that through God's Son, there is not only forgiveness of sin, but also life eternal. Christians meet together regularly to worship, encourage, instruct, and reach those who don't know Him. In your local fellowship, are you working toward these goals?